is it possible to compare um, the life and passion to the protocols of the elders of Zion in, in the sense that both tell a conspiracy narrative that gets picked up by by people in, in general? Uh, I'm not talking about maybe about the effect of each one. Maybe the protocols had a stronger uh, influence, um, but can there be a comparison between the two? I mean, um, there is connection in terms of um, the way in which exposed, vulnerable, different minority groups like the Jews attract this type of uh, conspiratorial thinking, and particularly by those who want to fix the world, utopian thinkers, critics of capitalism, uh, which we know, alas, in 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 Britain has a certain has a certain sort of pull in in areas of people who see themselves as very progressive. They're sort of prone to progressive. I mean, on issues of social justice, they're sort of not all, but some recognizably are prone to be attracted to these totalizing explanations of how come the world is such a ghastly place? Well, there must be an evil bunch of guys sitting there and pulling the strings. And there's a long tradition of thinking of this. Rothschild is usually mentioned, and more recently Soros, etc. And like in all conspiracy stories, there's always a, a, um, a, a something of a fact. Yes, Soros is a very rich man who tries to do things in the world with his money and to affect politics in various countries and so on. So do other rich men. But he is the one, and that is where the element of anti-Judaism or anti-Semitism comes. So I would say this type of thinking, yes, but there are lots of, you know, it doesn't happen just to Jews. It happens also to Jews. Uh, but, you know, when you have the whole context of the Russian Empire and later the Soviet state sort of working with these materials and later still, of course, um, um, in the Arab world, this was for obvious reasons also developed uh, very strongly uh, due to the Arab-Israeli conflict. So, but it is so much more consequential, widely spread um, in terms of just the harm that it does. But yes, you can make that connection because that conspiratorial thinking around Jews is associated with this sort of racialization of Jews as a group apart with particular interests, with particular modus operandi, with certain types of loyalties to each other that f far bypass uh, any sort of universal humanity. It's a very uh, cruel, very uh, cruel thing to say about a group 